Let me ask you, do you know what Genesis 1-1 says? I bet you're wrong. Well, Barev, brothers and sisters, and Bari Aravot, or Bari Or, or perhaps Bari Yarko, depending on what time of day you're watching this. Welcome to Mission Zero. If this is your first time here, my name is Sean, and this is The Word with Friends, the show where we take a deep dive into language and communications in order to bring us all closer together. The thing that we've been talking about this week is prioritization. And so I want to talk about the word first or maybe beginning. I asked you in the stinger if you knew what Genesis 1-1 said, because a lot of people think that it says in the beginning there was nothing. That's actually not true. What the King James says is, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. But that's also not what Genesis 1-1 says. See, the word that is rendered in the beginning is reshith, and reshith comes from an older Hebrew word rosh, and rosh means to shake. Specifically, this is talking about to shake a tree and watch the olives fall out, or watch the fruit fall out. And the reason that this matters is because almost everywhere else the word reshith is used it's rendered first fruits. Take for example, Deuteronomy and Numbers. When God says, bring me the first of your flock, it's reshith that he says. It's not beginning, that's weird. It's first. When it says in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, what it really is saying is, first of all, God created the heavens and the earth. That is a vastly different thing because it is not a historical story of how the universe was created. That was never the intention in the oral history. It wasn't to give a play-by-play. -play. It's to say, let's start here. God created all of this. Now, why does that matter to you beyond kind of nitpicky theological doctrinal arguments? It's because foundationally, there's a very important thing to know about this word reshi. The Greek cognate, which just sort of means contemporary word with, the Greek cognate of reshith is aparche. And aparche means also first fruits. But the important piece here is that it's a prioritization word. It's not talking about a period of time, the beginning. It's talking about a priority of operations. First things first. And this is also what reshith means. Reshith is not a period of time. It's not referencing when something happened. It's telling you the priority list. God's first priority, create the heavens and the earth. When he orders people to bring their first fruits, he's saying, first priority, when a calf is born, bring it to me. It is a way of saying, don't think about it. The first fruits sacrifice is not about the spotless sheep. It's not the finest of the flock. You have to do some work to comb through for that and make decisions. The first fruits is right off the top. The, the reason that it comes from Rosh, this idea of to shake, is because it's go shake the bush. Whatever falls off of it first, bring that as your offering. Don't even think about it. Put Put that offering so high in the priority list that it's never even a question. And this is really important because we so often prioritize the wrong things. The practical is this. My exhortation is this. There is a thing in your heart that is what you want to do automatically. It's the the first thought, if you shake your little brain, that thing, that thing either is your purpose or is very core to your purpose. And I think that you, like me, have had a tendency to shove that away, to stuff that down as a pipe dream, 
as just a fantasy that floats up. Don't take it so casually. There is a reason that that is the burning thought in your mind, that that is the first thing. And it may, just may, be because it's the most important thing. And so I hope that that means something to you. I hope that there's something in there that you can latch on to, that you can use to be you here. And may God pour out the blessings of that knowledge, of that purpose, of whatever it is that's first for all of us. And I love you so much. Peace out. Thank you.